Hey everybody, this is Shamini from the Happy Film Company and I am going to show you today one of my favorite tips for getting variety in a photo shoot. And all that it requires is that you either zoom your lens or you zoom with your feet, which is called walking in closer or walking further away. And um, this is specifically for shooting in groups of people, right? So when I shoot a big family group, one, um, I am zoomed back, I can see all of the families and then I'll zoom in on individual members. So let's take a look at um, the No family who I recently photographed in um, Hood Canal in near Seattle. Uh, I had everybody, as you can see here, standing on the dock. And this is the standard portrait, right? The, the frame is clean, there's space around everybody's heads. Now, um, I don't want them to move. I'm gonna move or I'm gonna zoom and Within this shot, there are like 20 other shots that look like candids or look like group portraits or specific. So you can see here, watch this. We just zoom in on little girl. There's a portrait of her. Same girl, different angle. And you might be thinking like, well, why do I want that shot? Like, why do I want just her? Now, <laughs> This alone is an okay picture. I mean, it's got grandpa's shirt and her brother's legs and yeah, maybe it's not the best portrait standalone. But when we're taking these pictures, I'm thinking in terms of an album or a slideshow. Um, I'm thinking of the final product. So I want pictures to go side by side. Um, I can actually show you an example of this here. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, so as you can see, when we put these side by side, now it makes more sense, right? You see the whole family and you see the little girl's portrait. So now this is a way we can show off and draw attention to a specific part of the bigger picture. It's not just a random portrait though. This is what a random portrait would look like. It's a group photo next to a picture that's completely separate and completely unrelated. And that's not the goal that I was going for. I want it to be a related picture so they, they, they uh, work together to tell a story. That's why I shoot this way. So instead of taking this picture and cropping in on the computer, I crop in with my camera essentially. And then when we print them into an album or we put them into a slideshow, the feeling that the viewer gets is that they're looking at a, a moment and then we're zooming in and focusing on something more specific in that moment. And then we move on to a different moment. Um, it makes everything feel more smooth and cohesive and feels more like a story. And like I said, it's super easy. All you have to do is look at the big shot and then zoom in on something inside that shot. And sometimes, I'll be taking pictures and I'll zoom in and I'll walk across left to right. Like I'll zoom in over here on the dog and then on this baby and then on this little girl and then on this little boy. And then that means that I, from this one moment, end up with the portrait plus five candids of all these little kids being held. It's also a great opportunity to focus in on people's feet or on wedding rings or like here as an example, you could focus in on grandma holding grandpa's hand, uh, arm hands are a great thing to focus on because they communicate connection between people. Like focusing here on dad and the little boy's arm would be really special. So that's one way to create a story feeling in your image collections.